Hey you, what's going on ladies and gents? If you're curious on how to get the luxurious Sea Lord, I'm gonna be telling you guys exactly how. In order for you to get the luxurious Sea Lord, as you guys can see on my screen, I did get it just now. It has attack percentage of 12% and base attack of 41 as soon as you start. You guys can see it has pretty good that um, increases elemental burst damage by 12% and increases upon refinement. Um, the other thing is not really that great, but I mean, it's pretty neat anyway. So as you guys can see, this is the way to get it. You need to 100% get all the collection uh, for the Path of Stalwart Stone. And what that is, it's a quest in the Moonlight Merriment um, quest line. So in order for you guys to unlock this, I'm pretty sure you're going to have to do a little bit of a quest with Xiang Ling and Ke Qing. And once you do that, you're going to unlock the ability to get you know all this stuff not to mention you also unlock this which is called the trail of delicacies you just fight monsters and get primogems and as you guys can see here you get some festive fever i'm not quite sure what this is for but find out i guess and then you also have some other quests here that you guys can probably do as well all right cool so how do you get the luxury sea lord well you're going to have to do a lot of collecting you're going to have to collect a bunch of these oculus as well as chests and you're going to have to collect every single one of them in order for you guys to be able to unlock this in general you guys can see it says 100 and that's how you get the luxury sea lord so if you guys find yourself having trouble trying to find all these you're going to have to go to leeway over here and you're going to talk to this lady right here all right after going to leeway harbor you're going to see like a little ocean icon looking thing uh you're gonna talk to her and she's going to give you hints of course i already took the hints but you only get a certain amount of hints for example you get around like i don't know 20 or something like that and you go and collecting them and once you collected them you don't get more hints until the next day like tomorrow so um you can't depend on that only so you're going to have to run around as you guys can see on the screen you just have to run around collect some oculus collect these chests and these chests all of them have five prima gems in them so i mean it's pretty neat it's good rewards but in general it doesn't give that much but it does give, give that dopamine rush that you kind of want from chests. it can be very tedious in order you guys to find all of them so what i do recommend is you guys use the Tevat interactive map all right here we have the Tevat interactive map as you guys can see um if you go to leeway here or oh, you can go on all areas but in order for you guys to find it easier you guys can see the oculi over here the moon chase charm is going to be right there and the mist moon chest is going to be right here obviously i didn't use the mist moon chest much because i already collected them all and I got it to 100%, but please, please, please do use this. Make very good use of this for every chest you collect. Make sure you go on them, hide pin, and that's so you can keep track of the ones you got. This will save you so much time, so you don't have to run around, look around for the final chest or the final oculi that you do not have. So make use of this resource. All right, I mean, that's pretty much it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hop on and try to level this one up if we get the chance to here um yeah let's see so well you, you guys sort of want to level this up now because you get a bonus of 1.5 times xp um for leveling it up now so i do recommend you guys right away as soon as you get it try to level this up as much as you can as high as you can because 1.5 times xp means you save 50 percent mora on leveling it up and that's what i'm gonna do here Right now that we made more of them, I can level up to 70 here. But I think that's my limit for now. So, alright. Since it's Monday, we're going to go against the La Senora boss fight here. And we're just gonna get straight into it. This is going to be my team. Obviously, I'm rocking the <laughs> uh, the new weapon. <laughs> it's not level 70, so it shouldn't do much, to be fair. But going to be interesting either way all right let's see it let's see the damage okay all right it's not bad it's not bad it's actually not bad we don't want to die here oh still there good all right let's heal up a little bit a little bit of damage i mean it's not doing bad damage it's doing all right 11k right there with an auto attack pretty nice pretty nice 
Well, obviously because of Pula, but very nice either way. All right, we're gonna see the uh, we shield up first. Use the ult. We get the super conduct rolling, and <laughs> let's see the damage here. That's twenty two k, not bad. All right, let's see it. Let's see it. All right, fourteen k with the auto. Oh, okay, that wasn't bad. That actually was not bad. Okay, that that, that hurt. Like, um. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty good either way. <laughs> Alright, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, this event is kind of interesting. Uh, it's a little bit uh, rewarding in a sense. But you have more days of this. So I'm assuming that's one way of collecting the R5. Yes, this weapon can be refined. Um, Alright, let me show you guys here. If I can enhance, click on refine. You guys get this stuff right here. This stuff is called the Emperor's Balsam. This is what you use to refine it. So as you guys can see here, it goes from 12 to 15 for a max of 24%. And I'm just going to refine it for fun here. Now we have refinement rank 2 of, <laughs> of this fish weapon. The luxurious sea lord. Well, yeah, that's going to be pretty much it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a good Genshin anniversary. If you do, consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel as well. Thank you guys so much for the support on my channel as well. See you guys in the next video very soon. Goodbye.